My name is Chef Ski, James Warneski, and this is Cooking with Ski. Hello, my foodie friends. Today's episode, I'm going to be making one uh, homemade classical uh, chicken noodle soup, and this is going to be an amazing dish. Uh, if you like this um, episode, you like this channel, go ahead and click your subscribe button, click like, and uh, what I'm going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a whole fryer um, and going ahead and roasting it, then making the broth out of this, uh, and then finishing up with this uh, chicken noodle soup. This is going to be an amazing, epic episode. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Well, good morning, my foodie friends. Uh, today I am going to be making a homemade chicken noodle soup classically style and how we start this off with is I'm going to be taking a whole fresh fryer and I'm going to be roasting it and then uh, once I have it roasted I'm going to bring it on out and let it cool and then I'm going to go ahead and take uh, pull the meat off it the white meat the breast meat and I'm going to put into the bones the carcass uh, wings and all that back in and I'm going to make a broth a very deep rich delectable broth from this so what you see right now is i have my whole fryer uh sitting in my crock pot my dutch oven and i'm going to use the dutch oven is perfect for this uh, so right now is i'm going to go ahead and liberally add salt into it and also i want to go ahead and uh, throw in some onions Just toss them right on in <clears throat> And we're gonna go ahead and roast the onions um, Along with this chicken uh, Now I do have my oven. It's preheated uh, to about 400 degrees uh, So I'm gonna go ahead and roast this for about 45 minutes and when it's done I'll get back well and come right on back Well, it's um, been in the oven. I put it in for about 45 minutes. I checked it and went and took another look at it. Put it in for, left it in for another 15 minutes. So it's been in about an hour. And woo, uh, this is exactly what we want. Uh, so right now is that I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And what I'm going to do is um, take it out of the pot i to set it up and let it cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the white meat off it, the breast meat, um, the legs, thighs, wings, uh, carcass. They're all going to go back into uh, the stock into this Dutch oven, and we're going to actually use this uh, to be uh, again making the broth uh, for this chicken noodle soup. Uh, so I'll be right back when I'm ready to go ahead and do that part of it. Okay, now that we have it uh, roasted and cooled, what I'm going to go ahead and do is take this um, breast off. And so we just want to go ahead and get it uh, just cooked because we got new, uh, a bit more cooking to do. So what I'm going to be doing is going to take the breast off. And you can see I'll have uh, the <clears throat> carcass right behind it uh, that we're going to be going ahead and, here we go, uh, pulling that meat off. I don't need or I don't want the skin to this. I just want the meat. Uh, so the um, skin and all that will go into the broth. That's going to give us a lot of flavor. Now the broth, uh, I'll come back and when I'm ready to do that, Broth's going to take a good, really good chicken broth. It's going to take a good three hours. So I'm going to go ahead and finish pulling this uh, meat. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and come back. And we'll have everything into the crock pot. And I'll show you how to go ahead and do your chicken broth from there. Well, as you can see now that I've got the <clears throat> meat pulled off, um, what I've done is I've pulled the, the white meat and fat skin and all that and so I have this carcass I have um, 
wings. I have the thigh and drum bones uh, sitting there. Um, and we've got a lot of that good broth uh, that I already started from the roasting along with that. So what I'm going to be doing now is I want to fortify this a little bit. So uh, typically, you know, you just go ahead and put some onions and um, bell pepper into it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some black peppercorns. I'm also going to go ahead and put some celery on down into this. And I got the uh, celery and peppercorns in. Uh, what I'm also going to be putting in is I'm going to be putting in carrot. Uh, these are all large chopped because I'm going to be straining the uh, and some more onions. In addition is that I'm going to go ahead and bring uh, water up to it. You want to put cold water in. Uh, then just bring it up to a boil and lower it back down to a very slow simmer. When I'm ready, I'll come back and I'll show you how I do that. Now, as you can see, I brought the, uh, my water up and I put about two quarts of cold water into it. And as you can see now, I have it fully submerged. I got my peppercorns, I got my onions, I got my celery, I got the carrots, I got the marrow pot that's in there. I got the carcass, which is gonna be the bones and the meat. And now what I'm gonna be doing is gonna be bringing it up to a boil, then bringing it down to a very, very gentle uh, bubble bubble simmer. It's gonna take about three hours for uh, this broth to really new build, get all the flavor out of it, out of the meat, out of the bones. And then I'll come back when it's done, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, now you can see that I uh, brought it up to a boil. Uh, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and bring it down to a very, very low bubble, bubble, toil and trouble um, simmer. Now this team may take a minute to go ahead and calm on down. Uh, but I'll go ahead and when it gets on down, you can see how it's dropping on down. Uh, we want to have just like bubble, bubble, bubble. That's all we want. Uh, like I said, it's going to take about three hours uh, for this to go ahead and really fortify and get us an awesome, awesome, deep, rich flavored uh, chicken broth. I'll be back. See, as you can see now that I do reduce the heat down, you can see what I'm talking about. Where you're getting bubble, bubble, just a little bit of bubbles. Um, and we're just going to keep it like this for about three, three and a half hours. Now, what we're looking for is all that flavor that's in the meat, that's in the bones. We're going to extract it all out uh, so that when you can't taste any meat in the bone, in the meat, uh, that we know that we have this broth fully developed for flavor, body. And it's going to be one of the deepest richest brussels you ever get <clears throat> trust me this is going to be nothing uh when you go to a store-bought uh broth this <clears throat> this is this is the real deal right here to be honest this is the real deal when you get to make a broth uh, whether it is a chicken broth beef broth uh, stock homemade that's the best way to go okay uh, what I decided to hit and do, and this is all part cooking, is that you see that uh, I've added in uh, probably about two tablespoons of uh, tomato paste. Uh, this is kind of like the second ingredient. It's going to kind of give it a little bit of thickness, uh, add to that uh, rich flavor. It's also going to deepen that color up uh, when we get time to go ahead and start building the soup itself. So right now we're doing the broth. We haven't gotten to the soup yet. That's going to be the easy part. And I'll be back. Okay, so what I'm getting ready to do is, as you can see, now you're getting the new, what's called scum, uh, that's right to pull, you know, pop up. So what I'm gonna be doing is what's gonna be calling uh, skimming the scum off the surface. So essentially it's just taking a little bit of this and just go through, pull a little bit of that fat off so it's all that oil, let's go up at the very top of it. And essentially what we're doing is we're, we're gonna be cleaning this uh, broth up. So I'm gonna continue doing this uh, while we're doing this. And then when I had the broth, everything's done, we're about two hours, hour and a half, two hours into this. 
uh, and I'll come back once I've got all this skimmed out and um, then we can come back and I'll strain it and we'll go ahead and come back and we'll start building the soup itself. As you can see that I am still uh, going through, we're about two and a half hours in uh, to this. Uh, so I'm still coming through here. Excuse me, I got the wrong spoon. Can't skim the scum with that spoon. But we got a little bit of uh, fat right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off out. Uh, we've got most of the scum skimmed off of here. And the other thing I want to bring to your attention is as we do this, you're gonna lose a little bit of your volume. Uh, you can see over here at the top where my line was. So I've lost about an three quarters of an inch to an inch of fluid uh, from skimming the scum and the evaporation. So what, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be adding some cold water back into this uh, and continue, because you want to keep about the same amount of volume. Uh, so uh, when you go down, you're basically concentrating everything, uh, but you want to go ahead and bring that level back up um, and continue to go ahead and build that flavor. So um, we're still working on this. We're about two, two and a half hours into uh, this broth. Uh, the taste is amazing. Uh, so I'm going to continue to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit more water back into it. Um, and I'll be back you know, um, when I'm ready to go ahead and uh, strain it. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is to begin straining um, the soup of all um, the goodies that are inside it. And I'm using you know, my spider. Uh, to be able to you know, pull us out. You can see that's a lot of good stuff. Uh, puppy's gonna be happy tonight. And as you can see, I'm going through and I'm just gonna kind of just pull all uh, the vegetables out, the wings, everything that's out of it. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and I'll strain it again. So we'll have a very clean uh, broth. You see how deep, rich that is? <sighs> This is an amazing, amazing um, broth that we're going to be making this soup out of. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue uh, doing this. Uh, and I'll come back when we're ready to go ahead and put the chicken and noodles all back back in again. Now that we've got it all strained, uh, we've got most of that scum uh, pretty much pulled off it. You can see we have a absolutely amazing broth. And this is what the cooking with is all about. <clears throat> I teach how to cook. And not like some of these other shows. Here you're actually going to see me make and cook. And this is stuff that you can actually do right in your home. So it's nothing complex or anything I'm doing with it. I'm just showing you how to cook. So the next thing we're going to do now is uh, due to weather shortages, I uh, was not able to get the noodles I wanted. Uh, and I'm going to cheat a little bit, not making no handmade news or anything like this. Uh, the only ones I was able to get was a routini. Uh, so we're going to cook the routini according to the uh, directions on the box. I'm going to go ahead and give that a quick stir. And it'll take about maybe 10, 10 15 minutes maybe uh, for them to go ahead and soften up. And when we have that, um, I'm going to go ahead and, ooh, ooh, miss that. Uh, can't have that. That's, that's good doggy bone. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put the chicken in, and we're almost done. I'll be right back in a couple minutes. Okay, as it looks like right now, as I'm looking at this, um, is the noodles are all pretty much done. Uh, where are you coming from? So, I was kind of looking at this, and what I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do is thicken this up just a little bit. And you can go ahead and thicken up a broth uh, two ways. You have to do it at the beginning with flour or at the end uh, with uh, cornstarch corn or arrowroot. 
and you make a slurry out of it. So that's what I'm going to be doing is I made up a slurry and I'm going to go ahead and in, add it in to the broth to go ahead and thicken it up. I'll do it a little bit at a time. Um, and here's my slurry. And you want to do this uh, when the soup is heating up, when it's uh, um, at a boil. That will activate the uh, cornstarch and allow it to begin starting to thicken. And then we'll just go ahead and take a look at it and see if we need to add any more into it. And then once we got it up to where we want, uh, I've already tasted this and I can use a little bit of seasoning into it. So we'll go ahead and do that this time. Go ahead and add a little bit of seasoning in. And a little bit of black pepper. I can find my black pepper. Here's my black pepper. Okay. And always measure out your ingredients. Uh, basically, it comes, it comes to taste. So let's go ahead and check this again. It's starting to thicken up a little bit. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm going to go ahead and add some more of the slurry into it. Let's thicken a little bit more. And the last thing that we're going to be adding in uh, is going to be our chicken. And this is going to be so stacked full of chicken. Now this is chicken that we did at the beginning. I pulled the uh, chicken breast and I picked through that, cleaned it on up. So now that we got everything done, we're going to add the chicken on into this. And this is going to be one amazingly delicious uh, chicken noodle soup. And plus my sous chefs uh, have some treats for them as well. Uh, nothing ever goes to waste. Everything gets used up. See, oh my gosh, yes. This is amazing. Amazingly Thick, deep flavored uh, classical soup. And I'm just going to go let it sit for a few more minutes and then we'll go ahead and get ready to plate this up. Well, okay, so let's just do a little bit of recap right here. What we've done is what we've done is we took a, at the very beginning, we took a whole fryer, uh, we went ahead and roasted it, then we pulled it. Uh, we picked all the, the uh, meat off it, put the carcass, bones, uh, thighs, wings all back in, uh, worked and spent three, three and a half hours developing an amazing, absolutely amazing uh, broth. We strained that. Uh, we went ahead and added in our noodles. We seasoned it back up again. Uh, and now uh, we get to have a uh, taste this. This is one deep, rich, thick, amazingly delicious soup. So let's give it a taste. Ooh, a nice big piece of chi uh, chicken in there. A little bit of seasoning. Ooh, this is hot too. Hot, 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 hot. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh, that is so good. You gotta try this. Uh, my uh, click if you like this go ahead and click the like and subscribe uh, button I'll be going ahead and uploading this and putting it onto my website uh, cookingwhiskey.com uh, so you have the ingredients uh, so um, go ahead and try this like I said I cook that's not complicated you can actually go into everything that I've done today a child can do I didn't do anything complex uh, but basically what I'm doing is I'm teaching you how to cook. So if you like this channel, click the like button, subscribe, uh, go to cookingwithski.com or to my Facebook uh, page. I'll go ahead and upload it there. And right now, me and my sous chefs are going to enjoy this. Uh, so uh, my foodie friends, you have a wonderful time. And I'll be 
talking to you later on the next episode.